Oh boy, it's time for another isekai anime. You guys love the rant about In Another World with My Smartphone. If you're interested in hearing that rant, it will be up uh, probably here. That's where I'll put it. Go ahead and click on it if you want to hear an unfiltered rant about the world's best anime in the world. But today, I got another one for you. I just finished watching it. Demon Lord Retry is the English title. Another isekai anime where the main character is lusted over non-stop by every single female that he meets. Seems like the norm. So the anime starts off, the main character gets to the new world as his favorite character in the game that he created demon lord hakuto, hakuto kunai and if the name doesn't say it he loves to throw knives out of his jacket and you know it can't be an isekai where the main character isn't overpowered without you know spawning apparently the worst demon the strongest demon in the world and him immediately slaughtering it happens just like that that's it and do you even have to ask? Tim, is the world filled with magic? Yes, it is. Tim, is the magic filled with demons? Yes, it is. Tim, is the world filled with jailbait that would make you question everything that there is to know about the age gap? Well, that's not for me to decide, and hopefully you don't need to question anything about that. But yes, the answer to that question is yes, there is plenty of jailbait as normal. And he almost immediately adopts a young girl who he thinks of as somebody he needs to protect. But of course, she thinks that he's all that in a box of chocolates and uh, ends up having some kind of feelings for him. Yeah, but he gets like these capsules that he can use like administrator points to like spawn whatever he wants, whether it be a hospital in a hot spring later in the series or just spawn a whole base that has like a room and like protective barriers and shit. It's real, real OP, real cheaty, like, you know, how most Isekai is for the main character. And you don't have to wait long for the first Holy Maiden character to show up. And by that, I mean, my God, is that jailbait? <laughs> And then obviously she tries to beat him up and you know it, it doesn't exactly work out because he's OP is all there can be and he ends up maybe taking it just a tad too far and spanks the shit out of her. Maybe he enjoys it just a little too much. Oh I forgot to say he also just flat out robs her, takes all her money and makes her have to chase him down for all the money and he ends up spending it on the little girl and himself and like go to a fancy dinner and just spend all her money and then she ends up finding him and is like hey you should give me my money back and he's like no i don't think so <laughs> so she causes a scene and then he gets her to calm down but then he offers everybody in the bar like drinks on her money basically but it, that's fine and everything because i mean Two minutes later, she's at their room and is like, hey, well, I'm going to follow you around because I'm the Holy Maiden and I got to make sure that you do not do anything bad. So even though, you know, it's pretty obvious that somewhere along the line, I don't know if it was like when the spanking was going on or I, I, I don't know, but has feelings for him, you know, so there's another party member. <laughs> Who, who is all about him, you know? So eventually, we, we bump into another Holy Maiden, and this one draws very, like, real influence from, like, Mad Max. At least when it comes to, like, her minions and, like, the fact that she rides on, like, a giant throne chariot that is, like, just pulled. And, like, everybody else is just on horses, and she's on this giant throne. But anyway, she's supposed to be the sister another holy maiden and like it's just a complete badass and hates to be like considered weak and weak because she's a woman but that basically brings us into him having like a second character who comes out I doesn't it's not even explained he just comes out as this character who is just another badass character that he made for his mmo but with like obvious ties from like a Yakuza with he's got this giant jacket with a dragon on his back 
boy, I wonder where that came from. And he can just punch people really good. And he's beating up these like Satanists or whatever because it's like a holy land and they're they're not for that. So he like punches the ground and this like dragon comes out of the ground and immediately goes after everybody. It's called like Final Phoenix or something for some fucking reason. Oh, also during all that, like the, the Holy Maiden who is like tough and doesn't need no man falls for him because like he protects her and it's like yeah okay i i guess and then she she falls so head over heels for him it, it's insane like she goes from like this badass character to like just can't stop thinking about him. <laughs> there's also a part after that it's like if you know the part you know the part but i'm all i'm gonna say is thanks for letting me know that it's a trap during the obvious innuendo i appreciate that but he ends up running into this trap and like this barbarian who is like got this monster hunter greatsword on her back and is wearing like the best armor or whatever well i mean it's not the best but i mean it barely covers anything so it's probably like god tier women barbarian armor plus five with you know enchantments on it or whatever well, not really, because, I mean, they get ambushed by a pack of wolves and end up running away and bumping into the main character. And the main character's like, ah, uh, throws knives and just hits all the wolves. And then, you know, the trap's a little too thankful. Yeah. Oh, he also, like, gets, like, this... Well, the one of the first Holy Maidens or whatever has this village filled with rabid people who just say hop and bunny after everything and it's real annoying like and like the anime is very self-aware when it comes to that and he basically is like yeah i'm gonna take this over and i'm gonna turn it into an amazing like town and everything and then so he ends up going to a bar and like meeting with this high society woman who is very large whose name is shrimp Fr shrimp fry butterfly yes i'm not kidding that's her name okay you could probably imagine what she looks like just off of the name alone but a bunch of stuff happens with him talking about how he's gonna do that with the the high society woman and then all of a sudden boom vampire shows up and the satanists are back and then he transforms back into his other character and just absolutely fucking smacks that vampire with the might of zeus doesn't even stand a chance second holy maiden's freaking out because then she's he uh, right there and she's like crying and he's like can you stop getting beat up like for a woman you get beat up a lot but you know something <laughs> i mean I, I i basically told most of the story but i mean if you guys want to watch it demon lord retry it, it it's not bad but it's also main characters aren't exactly uh memorable so 